So today it was more of a vlog style um, video and I just wanted to show you uh, something I've been working on and hopefully it's going to be a, a series of upcoming videos. Um, one of the most difficult things I've done and that is to make a um, folding knife. So I watched a few videos on building um, folding knives and it, it really is my passion, it's, my, it's what I'm most interested in. It's a lot more difficult than I imagined. I've got this design that I've been, that I've had in my mind for quite some time now. I designed it in um, AutoSketch and if you wonder what AutoSketch is, uh, I'll put a link to the video up here if you want to watch that, how to design a knife with some software. But I use that to come up with uh, a design of a folding knife that actually works and more precisely it's a lockback folding knife. Um, so this is the prototype that I eventually came up with and I managed to get this locking really well actually I'm, I'm quite surprised at it but I'll just show you the process I've, I've been through so far and I'm sure it's going to be uh, quite a long process to come. Now I've watched a lot of videos on Walter Sorrells or Hikim knives and, and so on where they're absolute masters at it and Walter Sorrells uh, is just uh, knife making chronicles that I've been following but he's got a whole bunch of stuff that he can test his his, um, his prototypes on like uh, mills and things like this so I just don't have any of that so what I'm going to make is purely with hand tools and um, see what I can come up with. I'll just zoom in here and I'll show you what I've been working on. Alright so as I've been saying my most favourite um, locking knife is a lockback knife and this is the sort of thing I've been going through to try, try and make it work. You can see here I've got blades with various cutouts in them, springs, backspacers, locking mechanisms, um, liners, this is just all mild steel. So I've been through this whole pile of junk here um, trying to get to where I've gone now. And I've learned a lot from it, um, realised how tight the tolerances need to be, uh, can't start with anything that's sort of a liner that's uh, wobbly or any of these things because it just won't work otherwise. Now, honestly I could really get hold of a, um, an existing locking knife, pull it apart, literally copy it and remake it all, but why say what's the fun in that? So this is what I'm going through and this has taken me quite a few months on and off um, amongst other projects. So I started off with some software called AutoSketch and it just means that I can test, I can just rotate this on the, on the computer and see that as, it, as this comes down it will actually lock in place like that. So it enables me to check that. So in theory it works, made all this junk here this one was a complete failure, so I thought, well, I'll keep going and I'll make one in timber. This definitely isn't the best thing that I've ever made. <laughs> in fact, I've made two of these and the other one that I've lost is much better than this. Um, but initially I had an elastic band through here as the spring mechanism just so that I could test this part here, how it locks in. So, you can see here this is very similar to this but the tolerances are so tight that you just have to make one and trial it and get it right and although this is timber it's very hard to to show but it does actually lock if I keep my finger on there this locks quite well um, I just proof of concept really that what I'm actually doing does in fact work so started with that then I went on to this one this actually looks really quite good same idea but I've just refined the the design of it and so it's a lot more interesting looking uh, and I've got inside here I've got a spring which is not unlike this one but this was a failure, I tried to solder the spring in and ultimately it's a complete failure, even this, although I can get this to, see if I can get this to unlock, yeah, here we go, so it will close and then open 
and it will lock in place and it's really solid but you can see here it's got some movement in the spring it's complete actually it's a complete failure but at least I've got a bit further I've refined the design and left that for a while because I thought wow that was hard work getting that far I picked it up a few couple months later and changes the design a little bit it's got this um, rounded piece here which I don't like and it's not as deep I much prefer this style but this time round what I've done is I've I've perfected this spring so this backspacer here and the spring is all in one I ground it out and I don't know if you can actually see that or not but in there you can just see the bottom of the spring or you can see the spring itself. This is a straw colour where I've made it out of 1095, heat treated it, tempered it back to a straw colour and the spring is awesome because I can now lock that really well and there's no play in it, it's very solid and it's a repeatable mechanism. Works really well. So, I figure, well, I've got that far. Maybe what I should do now is, I can, now I know that I can make a spring, I can change the size of the spring, I can change the angle in which it operates at, and start refining uh, the, the front, or liners, however you want to call it, because eventually I'm going to add, um, by the way, these are giraffe, scales that I got from Sydney Blade Show, not this recent one but the one before. Uh, and I'll somehow fit these onto the handle. But for now, this really is it. This is as far as I've got. Now what I intend to do is make some make something which is uh, working, a heat treated blade that actually works, that is actually a properly finished blade. But I'm sure as good as I can get it, it will never be as good as something like this, which is my most favourite. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that this is one of my featured knives, and it is just beautiful. I bought this in Japan when I was there a year or so ago, and um, it is super, super sharp. Gentleman's folding knife. It's a Moki knife. Moki is the brand, and I can't believe how smooth and beautiful this knife is. Now there's another reason why I like locking knives, back lock I should say, as opposed to liner locks is because I'm left handed. Liner locks are mostly built for right handed people so that when you're opening and closing you can much easier, it's much easier to push the liner, the lock across, close it and operate it that way. Left handed I have to then get inside and try and close it in the opposite direction with the thumb, it's very, very awkward. So for that reason I always like the lock back knives and I've got several of them. So that's it for now. Uh, so you can see the process I've been through. That, to that, to that, and now to this. So from here, I need to come up with a prototype. Properly working, heat treated, ground and sharp, and properly working prototype. And see how good it really is. Um, I'll probably leave the scales off until I really does not work, so I don't ruin some of these scales that I've got, by the way. I've got some carbon fibre, some green fish scales, I've got some burl, which I think is maple burl, I've got this, which I can't remember what it is, but it's Australian timber, and I've got this, which um, is 6,000, found in a bog in Queensland, 6,000 years old, carbon dated by a university over there, just whilst I got you. Um, I'm going to finish this off. We'll say I came up with this. This looks all right, but it's actually a disaster. I don't know if you can see it with crack, 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 big warp in it. Like an idiot, I um, heat treated it in water instead of at least canola oil or something. So I'm going to finish this one, and I'm going to probably make a full tang on this, change this bit here, forge this back down, uh, cut this back here, and it's probably some kind of chopper. So this was basically both of these were bits of farming machinery, spring steel it is, so I'm really not quite sure 
what the bits of machinery are, are from, but who cares? It's spring steel and really tough steel. I'm sure it's pretty good steel, but yeah, I've got a build of this coming up as well. So once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon.